Jim Carrey! What's up everyone, it's Dan Rose here, and I'm with Boyzy. And we'll be talking about another theory video that we had cooking up. And don't worry, there's still going to be another upload, so look forward to that like in an hour or so, or maybe an hour after that, so two hours. But we're going to be talking about a potential Sonic movie that could come out after the movie is out and it's a raging hit. So. Well, in the sense that it's not a movie, but instead an adaptation of the movie. What we're getting at is that there could be a potential movie game. Now, this is important because the Sonic movie, with how the reviews have been looking so far, like even as headlines I've seen, it's like, oh, critics have put the brakes with the Sonic movie. Basically meaning like it's actually doing a lot better than people expected. There is a chance that we might get a movie tie-in game. Now, the reason this is important is because if this movie is as good as everyone's making it out to seem, which I already have faith in it, of course, a movie tie-in game won't be a bad idea. Now, this is very important because it can be the next big, not main Sonic game, but like a spin-off. Now, for gameplay-wise, you go and Dan pick over and I'll chime in with some some tidbits of my Don't worry, because I don't know what, exactly what I'm talking about, but I, I, I'm just going to lead on what I believe what might happen, and that's it. And you hit me with the real good facts. Cause, <laughs> cause, yeah. So basically what I think they might do is not adventure styled, but they will have like free roaming, I want to say, as in at least leaning towards Sonic Boom, Rise of Lyric, how you can walk around and explore. Except that actually completed. <laughs> yes, it actually completed. Now, if they get, I think if Big Red Button, let's say if they actually got Big Red Button to do it, I would say they don't have really any, like, you know, they don't have to rush now because the game actually looks good. Boom actually looks good. It's just that it was incomplete. And now that they don't have Nintendo hammering them, give us a game for the Wii U. Now they can actually, you know, take their time and actually do it right. I feel like they can actually make a good, like, tie-in for the Sonic movie. Now, for, like, what I think they could do, like I said, um, the main characters you can play with is, like, Sonic and Tom. I don't know if they're going to add a human character and make it playable, but I want to guess, like, if you, say, like, you have a scene where you pick Sonic and Tom to be playable, and there's an action second. You've seen that Sonic Boom actually has good action second, it's just laggy as hell. You can like play as Tom, you can actually like shoot the robots, because there's any like a puppy officer or a cop. Yeah, so he's like, he's, he's like, he's a cop. But what I think they would do, and this is like a flush rush, it'd either be like Simpsons Hit and Run, or like Crazy Taxi, where you play as Tom for like the driving section. That was something that I would really believe that could happen. Of course, with that being said, I feel like because they're being chased. From what we've seen in a lot of the trailers, there's no, no spoilers, none of that. What we've seen in trailers is basically him driving Sonic around from place to place, and maybe there'll be like a few mini games, and of course him having to get hit for comic relief, of course, because that's what we've seen. Driving all the rings. <laughs> that's <laughs> it. No, normal, normal, little, just inside, just putting that in the game. That's all they're gonna do. Drive through the Sonic rings. They'll do it. They well. That's the simple thing, or it's like a racing scene, like race against uh, the giant robot. That remember that not the one that was cutting the car, but the one that had the the blades. The one that Sonic, that Sonic hit that through. Yeah, he like, spin through. How are you still alive? I, I have no idea. idea. Bro, he, they're probably gonna do that race against that, or like drive away from that, so you don't hit it. And there's probably gonna be a segment where it comes up to you and it's slowly coming up and it's cutting the car, and he like press a, like, a quick time event, and Sonic jumps off the car, and then hits it, and it goes back, and you still drive away from it. So that would be cool. And then for Sonic, let's say there's a... I want to say they're probably going to take an inspiration from Incredibles. Hey, you know the Dash segment? Where you play <laughs> as Dash, and he's just running, yeah. and he just immediately dies when he hits something? So, so it's they like can do that. Speed it's a mock speed section, but you're not going like mock speed. You might die instantly from something. You probably have like one or two hits. But yeah. Sonic is just running with the trail behind him. Let's say if you go extremely fast, you have like a part where he's moving fast. You see the trail, like it's like a, a like bottom top view, like bird's eye view, oh, like, and like then you moving. Yeah, 
so it does that and you get to run away and you get to see everything. You get to change the camera, you get to switch it. Like that, just to keep the fun. I don't think you're gonna be able to change the camera if you're doing the section. Because I know in Dash like, like segment you can't change the I don't think you can change the camera. But you run straight and it, it changes while you're running which direction you're going. So like that that would be cool. And then like interacting, like being in the city, like you said a good idea when we were on the call earlier that like it can be parkour from like I also want to expand on that. What I would think they could do for segments where Sonic isn't going completely like mob speed, like we're not gonna make it, let's speed up. I feel like they could do, and this is this is something that I know will never happen. But I would love for them to do like a Jack and Dexter kind of mix, where like you can basically like, it's like platforming, but the natural environment if you use that advantage. Of course, taking the parkour and building on it, because I'm gonna sense now Lost World's parkour system wasn't that bad. I, I'm sorry, guys. 3DS pretty much perfected it. And I'm not sure about Wii U that. Wii, Wii U was a bit a bit tough. Felt on like it. Sonic had a stick up his butt <laughs> and man couldn't move at all. I and mean, then you play Lost World 3DS, yeah. man is fluent. Yeah, it, it, it was because either you run too fast and like you go off or you move really slow. I feel like they'll go and take the natural speed and of course you can like spin dash if Sonic has that. Or they'll even have a boost because, you know, cool power. Maybe you can just manually use it. Um, I would love to see like a Jack and Dexter take on it, like maybe say like, take the Sonic Adventure 2 like pole, like the pole spin thing. I, so I was playing, uh, like you can look at the video on the channel, uh, I played Persona 5 Scrambled and what you can do in that environment is like, Joker can like jump on top of the light pole and then he can jump down spinning. And Pingsley was like, hey, is this Kingdom Hearts? And I was like, <laughs> so like, what if Sonic, like, they can take inspiration off of that, like Sonic will jump on the pole, like he can spin around it like in Heroes, or he can like run up it, or he can spin up on it, so it gives you more movement options, so he can't just like spin and be like a copy. He can run up it, look around, like you know, pose him, make sure he's like excited. And he can like spin down and hit enemies if they're near it, or if they try to get near him, he can jump up and he can shoot himself, or he can like run up, like say like if you lock onto it, he can run immediately straight to it, so it can be like really cool and gave people like all right let me go through this pool and then i'm gonna like jump down homing attack or do whatever but he's probably not gonna have homing attack because i want to say he's inspired with i mean he is team sonic so he should i would say what they would from the way it sounds what they could do for like it could be kind of like the like shot lock what because you've seen in the movie there are moments where he moves really fast i know what you're course, talking like, about down. So of course you can make it like a shot lock. You, can you mean how Sora was like going fast and he yeah, like, like stops on the wall? And you can stop on the wall and then like you can like basically that's what he does. You like go run straight forward. You can also like with the whole view in the city. I could say it could be like Assassin's Creed where specific locations you can view the city and like see where there is to go. Um, like sometimes like like say like when you're in battle you can just like see around. But like, not like view the city, I know what you mean when he's like, it feel like there's a like, you can get like, go in any building you want and then go on the elevator. Cause like that, oh yeah, he can run on walls, I forgot, Yeah, for the, in the trailer there's a scene where it's like, where he's like, he's like doo, 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 doo. <laughs> Yeah, he's going like, I think down a building and like, slow up. He can, since he can run up walls, it's probably gonna be like Kingdom Hearts, instead of making the buildings slow, he can just do it manually, do not make the buildings slow. I, 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 like I, I, I hate it. It looks weird, especially in uh, uh, San Francisco. We're not here to talk about King Hearts. Yeah, we're not here. That's a whole different topic. We're probably talking. Actually, we should do King Hearts stuff on the channel. We're not going to even talk about that right now. So Sonic gets to run up on like walls and buildings, and then like if you're like on the ledge, then you can like look around. That'll be cool. But like when you're in action sequence or you're just in like the main hub world and you're just walking around, you can just like run up on the cars. Yeah. Like it can be like an adventure where it, like the cars stop, you can just step on them. <laughs> But Sonic is mad huge, so the proportions will be up. But now, since they're probably gonna give like the right size, and the cars yeah. are gonna look bigger. It's like Mario Odyssey. Yeah, that, that's that's a good point. Right? It could, it's pretty much it could pretty much be like Mario Odyssey, but instead of having it, I would say for maps, I would want it to be the cart like the semi-realistic cartoon vibes of Mario Odyssey, but the large grand scales of Kingdom Hearts Three. Like, you know how, like, in San Francisco, the map was really big, and not, you could see, like, all the buildings, you could go from building to building. Of course, there were there were some loading zones, but the maps were, like, almost all interconnected and really well, like, yeah. first. That's what I would say I want from a Sonic movie, because, 
from what we've seen, there's a lot of good scenes. Like, my thing is, how are they gonna go? I feel like there'll be a stealth section with, with Tom. Well, yeah, Tom's gonna have stealth sections. I wanna say, like, say, like, if Sonic like, is okay. down, say, like, Sonic, like, you're in a scene, like, like, let's say Tom is a computer character and he's helping actually Sonic fight. Let's say he has a gun and he's shooting robots in the air, so yeah. you don't have to specifically help me get attacked up. Tom will put up and say, like, you die. Tom can, you can take place with Tom and then run over to Sonic and try to wake him up. <laughs> or we can get Maddie <laughs> and get Maddie, crack the stick. So I gotta go fast, and he just like when he gets up, he does like a funny animation, runs around, <laughs> and then you get to play a Sonic again. It, it'll just be funny. They have so many ideas they can do. Yeah, it, there's weird. a lot that they can do with it. Wow, of course right. I forgot. Oh, uh, Billy Poo's video. Billy Poo's <laughs> Um, I think for Tom, what they could do is if he's like a computer character, it shouldn't directly destroy robots, um, with, unless it's multiple hits. It should more like stun them because like the robots are made of metal. Metal on metal isn't an easy thing to really pierce. Sure. So I would say it could be more like a stun and a help Sonic. Uh, what I was thinking, because I remember the in one of the trailers, it was I think when, when this was the old Sonic design, where he had Sonic in the bag. I think it's also in the new one. Is it? No, I think it is just just the old one. But if they no, he's still he's still in the bag. He's still, he's still, he's still in the bag. bag. Where he's like, yes. <laughs> they changed his hand though, Sonic. It's not, it's they didn't show the hand on it. He's like, it's not. They can act so you mean he's gonna do that whole thing. He's gonna do that whole scene. He's like, is that, is that your kid? Is there a kid in the bag? Yeah. He's it's like, no. He's like, no. Is it actually yes, but it's not mine. And then they should like show the like like not the movie scene, but like the like a recreation. The model is just turning its head like. <laughs> I feel like my biggest concern, I guess, for this kind of like movie tie-in game is the budget because one thing I noticed with a lot of movie tie-in games they don't actually put much like budget into it or they don't have much budget into it and, and I don't want a game like Sonic because Sonic I'm sorry guys he, he's had a really rough time <laughs> like he's had a really rough time he's always having a rough time he's having a rough time right now I yeah. Like I said, a lot of people like horses, I do like horses, but it's not a good Sonic game. It's only because they messed up with a lot of things. Classic could have saved it. The only thing that saved it was literally a little bit of modern Sonic. And and then... Hero music. And now we're calling him Hero. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> I mean, it's better than saying CAC. Alright. So, so, so Hero and Sonic literally was like the only thing. The music was good. The story was kind of iffy. Uh, it was supposed to be good, but it was kind of iffy, and now we're on this like limbo where Sonic it can only getting last. Game. He's getting another game, but it's not going to last unless he does it good, and then the only game we can only speculate to be good is this classic game, so we don't want that. So if they do this movie game, they have a lot of teams that can... I think Big Red Button is a good choice. Uh, it's just that they need their time, and then... or any other studio that has potentially... The I to make a 3D roaming game. Would say for a 3D roaming game. A 3D roaming, I want to say a Square. And the only reason I say Square is because there's a lot of good games. I've been on like uh, Near Automata, Automata, Alipun, 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 Alipun. Toby! Okay. Near Automata. <laughs> it's just Near Automata. It's Near Automata. I, I, I stutter too, I stutter too, but like, <laughs> it's one of the easy games. Near Automata. Um, I'm not going to get too much because I started. It's not really good example. Uh, I would also say Capcom to a degree. To a degree, I would say Capcom for like map sake. Because we've seen with like Resident Evil 2 remake, and since we're getting Resident Evil 3 remake, I'd also say Devil May Cry is also good because they've done a lot of cutscene related stuff. That's also team based. So really it depends on what team they are. Um I would say Nintendo, but I don't want them to rush it. Yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're really, not doing that. I don't no. want them to rush it. I wouldn't say that. Um, so like Square, Big Red Button, and Capcom. And Capcom potentially. Those are the things. Or if they're feeling brave, and this is this is one that I know this would probably get a lot of positive feedback, Activision. Because of Spider-Man game. That game was a game that a lot of people loved, and it was a almost basically a, almost a movie time. And it was really well done. Or even better, if you really wanted to, but I would say this would be better if you like another like Free roaming Sonic game that isn't tied to the movie. Uh, Connect 2. The makers for Ultimate Ninja Storm and the team that worked on 
Okay. Dragon's Academy. Because the open world for that looks really good. I love the cell, the cell stick. The cell shader. And everything else that came with it. It looks really well done. And there is a lot of potential to grow with that style. Um, so for something like this, I would say that we probably want to stick to more realistic stuff. Because this is basically CGI to real life. Which I'm not even against that topic. <laughs> of like why I don't directly agree with that. Um, and then you only have the final option actually have Sega do it and actually they will actually do a good job seeing how they've been having trouble making the 3D Sonic game in a while it's gonna be inevitable it seems like a lot of companies have given up on making 3D games except for Nintendo it's like it's like Mario will have another 3D Mario game before Sonic Crash I think and others I think what they could do if they wanted to do that like if they wanted Sega to do it and I know that a lot of people are gonna be like no but I say they could hire Sonic Team Jr. and maybe the rest of them too. Because they've done a really good job with just making a game in a Doom engine. And imagine if they actually get their hands on the official engine or even the creators for Sonic Utopia. Because that would be a pretty good, like having Sonic be able to like charge the peel out or something, being able to do all these moves in an official engine. There's a lot of good fan make, like fans that make a lot of good stuff. And I'm not saying it in the sense of like Sega hire this man. I'm saying it in the sense of somebody who like has done a little bit of game, like making games itself. It it takes a lot of work to do stuff like that, and to see them pull off in such a way that even the fans that they did hire, like Stealth Man and Tice Hess and Cannon. Cannon, like you saw what they did with it. Mania was drop dead gorgeous. It still is. My only gripe is that we didn't get any time in these days, but we'll discuss that maybe on my channel in the future. Anyway, I say that there's a good potential of gameplay choices that they can make, of course. My biggest fear is Sega does it, they're gonna try and do too many gameplay styles at once, and that might, like, backfire. I don't know. But, that's... They should just I say that it's specifically 3D and that's all you're getting, there's no 3 test. We're not, we're not doing it. Because if they try to harp on that, they're going to try to keep doing that. Yeah. Can't do that. Sega, I know you're not going to see this video, and, and I hope that whoever sees this video spreads the word. I say we should make completely 2D games. I feel like we should go and step forward closer towards 3D and make more unique level design. I'm not going to say Adventure was the pinnacle, because Adventure was very janky. I love Adventure. I love Adventure 2. But man, with those janky. I would say what they should do, and this is just something, this is a, a dream of mine, is one, remake Sonic and Knuckles, make it canon, please, please make it canon, please, stop. So Sonic 3 is canon, but not Sonic and Knuckles? Um, there's a video on that, you can probably really get in the description, it explains why Hypersonic is actually not canon, and why those events are completely canon in and of itself. Um, Make a 3D variant of the classic games if you really, I guess, wanted to remake those. Or, in this case, make a 3D Mania game. Make a 3D race game. Like, remake Rivals. Like, Rivals in 3D would be pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Having to actually time your jumps and boost and dash. I mean, we technically got something like that with Sonic Forces... What was it? Sonic Forces Battle? Speed Battle. Speed Battle. We, we got something similar to that where, like... A mobile game, though. But it was a mobile game, so, yeah. And... I feel like if you hire the right people, and you get the right, like, people, you can, you can potentially, potentially make a really good 3D Sonic game. And there's another Sonic game idea, but again, I will probably discuss that on my channel, when I actually start doing stuff on that, on that dead, like, dead pan desert. So much stuff. There is so much to do. But the, it, it, it's a possibility, what if the game that they announced? Uh, South by South by Southwest. <laughs> South by South by South by South by South by South They're probably going to either announce a new Sonic game or it's going to be the movie tie-in for the game, but who knows. Yeah. But you just have to wait soon. Pretty much. And what? that's pretty much, that's pretty much all we have to talk yeah. about. On that note, we're going to see you in two hours. See you in like two hours. Maybe, maybe even two, let's say two <laughs> hours and a half. 
maybe even three. And it's probably it's coming out today because if I don't do that, I, I'll lose subscribers. And I already got it. <laughs> I already had a lot of people subscribing, and I don't want to let them down. And I'm sorry if my voice isn't very, I guess, enthusiastic. But I'm not very engaging. But I promise you that I'm, I'm trying my best. We're all trying our best. We're all trying our hardest, and we want to give you something, but we want to give you content. Um, so I guess if I'm gonna plug my channel in, even though it's literally I'm gonna dead, plug it in. Don't worry, I got you. <laughs> even though it's pretty much dead, I'm not doing anything with it yet. I will say that. We if you want to, I'm not going to say do do it, but if you want to, you could go ahead and sub. I do have plans with that channel. My channel is mostly for like animation purposes and basically just doing animation because I'm somebody who does major in animation. Um, I might talk about some topics that I would really like to talk about, like a potential Sonic fighting game because Sega, Sega, you can really make money with that. We already have that please, fighting game that's on. That's no. on Twitter. And that guy, he's redoing the animations. Oh, fuck. <laughs> but a potential official Sonic fighting game. Or, in this case, re release Sonic fighting. Please, that game, they while did. not perfect, is it on Twitch? Is it uh, online <laughs> on Switch? Because that's what I want. No, no. It needs to it's happen. online, I think, at Xbox. I know. But, but I don't know if they I'm are on it. They're probably like sweaties. And I don't want to fight sweaties. Sweaties. Sweaties and Sonic the Fighter is a terrifying turn. Um, maybe potential, like, like I said, my channel is mostly animation stuff, so you're going to see all, like, types of, like, practice animations and maybe animatics here, there, some art, of course, because I am an artist. I'm not perfect, but I am an artist. And, of course, my channel name is going to change some. He's going to leave a link in the description. I'm still going to pop link here, so it's not going yeah. to worry. It's going to have your link, but it's going to take yeah, you to the channel, but it's going to take a link here. But I'm going to change the... I have to change the channel. Yes, so, with that being said, potential Sonic movie game. Please! Sega! 3D Sonic game! Please! Put, or, or getting it. Less Sonic! More other things, like maybe Billy or something. I don't know. Please! Just... Do something else, I'm begging you. Billy! <laughs>